Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my collective haul. So y'all, I already planned on doing a book haul. Um, I guess this is going to consist of being post part two of my postpartum book haul. But when I was thinking about the books that I was going to put in this haul, I was like, well, I have bought like other stuff recently too. So I said, well, let's just do a haul all together with things that aren't just books. Plus, it's been a while since I like sat in front of the camera, so I wanted a reason to sit in front of the camera for a little while. Because I was having technical difficulties, so it's been a while since I actually recorded the video. Kalea's playing on her mat right now. So sorry if y'all hear the TV in the background, and you might hear a lot of that, because she's an aggressive player. First of all, I guess I'm going to do book stuff first, since, it is, since this is a booktube channel. I'm going to do the bookish things first. And all of these books were not bought at the same time whatsoever. These books have been bought the last few months. Since I did my first my postpartum book haul, they've been bought since then up until now. Because I just got books in the mail yesterday, but it was just two of them. So they, these were not bought all at the same time at all. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to show y'all that I bought is not a book. It's a more of a fandom thing. It, I was... And I knew this was coming in the mail. I knew this is what was in the box. But I still shocked my damn self when I opened the box. And I was like, oh my god. No way, you kidding. I got Buttercup. So Buttercup is getting added to my shelf. I'm about to take all of my Funko Pops out of the box and sit them on my shelf. I finally decided today that I'm going to take them out of the box. Because I wasn't so sure I wanted to keep them in the box. And my mom was like, well, you have a baby now. So you should keep them in the box. Because then when she starts getting around, she's going to mess with them. Like if she could get them off the top of my shelf, then... Hooray for her. But um, I'm going to take them out of my shelf. I have Buttercup, I have Linus Van Pelt, and I have Chucky. So I'm going to take them out of their boxes and just sit them on the shelf. Because ah, look how cute she is, y'all. I love Buttercup. The next item that I'm going to show y'all is a book that I bought for Kalea. I actually went in Barnes & Noble. I do like to go to Barnes & Noble, like I said, to window shop because Barnes & Noble is very expensive, so it's rare that I actually buy a book out of Barnes & Noble. I usually just go down and find my wish list on Amazon because 9 times out of 10, the book that I'm going to buy in Barnes & Noble is way cheaper on Amazon. And I saw that this is one of my favorite, favorite Dr. Seuss books, and I always thought I wanted to get it, but I had never got around to it. And I was like, today is the day. You lucky you're getting this book. And it is, Are You My Mother? I love this book so much. I read it to her like three times already. Well, I read it to her twice. Her dad read it to her once. I love this book. This is like my favorite Dr. Seuss book. It's just so cute. Because like I go to everything. Are You My Mother? It makes me think about um Dr. Doolittle. The end of the movie when the egg hatched. And um I think it was an alligator. He popped out and he was asking. He asked uh, Lucky. Mama? And <laughs> he said, Why not? I love that part of the movie. It's just so cute. <laughs> so the next two books I'm gonna share with y'all are books that I just are the books I got in the mail yesterday. Um, one of them is Pocahontas by Joseph Bruchette. And I'm not gonna read this now. This is actually for me to read November because November is Native American Heritage Month. And I am part Native American. My great grandma was half Native American. So and I didn't know they had a Heritage Month. It just made me think about it during Black History Month. It was like, oh my God, they have a Black History Month. Do they have a Native American, you know, month? So I just found out that that is in November, as well as Alzheimer's Awareness Month. That's in November too, which I already have a book that I'm going to read for, you know, Alzheimer's part of it. So for November, I plan on reading all books by or about Native Americans and books about Alzheimer's, surrounded about Alzheimer's. So... That's the books that I'm going to be doing. And I say Alzheimer's because Alzheimer's is, is something that runs on my mother's side of the family. It's something that, like, I'm afraid of. Because it's like, so far, my great-grandma has it. My grandma has early stages, like, early signs of it. And, like, two of my great-aunts and one of my great-uncles also had Alzheimer's. So, it's, like, really something that I'm afraid of getting. Like, that's one, like, a lot of people say their worst fear is dying. My worst fear is like forgetting and like not having a memory. And my great grandma had it, and I was old enough to I could remember how she was when she had it. And it was just 
sometimes she didn't remember you and then sometimes she did and then sometimes it was like really selective or i don't know you but i know her and it's like i i just would hate to live like that like how, why do, i feel like it would be very frustrating and my heart goes out to everybody that has alzheimer's and has had to deal with it because that's like my biggest fear of getting that moving on from that sad moment that we just went through <laughs> the next book that i got in the mail yesterday is audacity by melanie crowder and this book is inspired by the events of the triangle shirt rate shirt waist factory uprising and that is something that i don't know if y'all be paying attention in history i play attention to history because that's one of my favorite classes but that this is pretty much a women's right book um the shirt rate uprising factory is something that happened back in like the industrial revolution during a time where it was like the women's right up 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 move uprising happening <laughs> because you know at first when women first started you know working it was like oh no they're only good enough to work in factories and garment factories and stuff this is following a girl named clara limlick which is a real person she was a real person in historical fiction and it is it's following everything that she did through protesting and um going on strike it's going through all of that and it's written in verse so this book i feel like it is going to make me like after i'm done reading it this book is going to make me feel like very empowered as a woman after I'm done reading this book. I don't know why, but I feel like after I'm done reading this, I'm going to like just feel more empowered. Somehow. I don't know how, but I feel like this is one of those books that are going to make me do it. And it's written in verse, so I'm kind of scared to see how it's going to go. But I think it's going to make me appreciate it more. It might be more beautiful to me reading it in verse than, you know, regular, you know, paragraph form. But I'll let y'all know. This is stuff that I plan on reading in the near near future. And I said it's so much that I'm never reading them in the near near future. But we'll see because this is one this is a book that I really like itching to get at to read. So I'll let y'all know. It has some pretty good ratings on Goodreads and some good reviews on Goodreads I've seen. I haven't looked for it on BookTube, but I, out of the people that I've watched on BookTube, I haven't heard, you know, anyone talk about it. At least since I got it, I'll search and see and watch some reviews about it. But so far I've heard it's a pretty good book. And I can't wait to get to it. The next book that I bought, which is a recent buy, that I bought is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Miles. I finally got it, y'all. Since this book came out, I've been saying, I can't wait to get to this book. I'm going to get to this book. I can't wait to buy it. Well, I finally bought it. It went down to $8 on Amazon. And I was like, yep, I'm going to buy it. Like, I just happened to go and see it. Because at first, it was like $15. I'm like, I'm not really in the position to spend $15 on one book. And then I saw $8. I'm like, let me get it before Amazon changes their mind. Because they do that a lot. So, I finally got a Court of Thrones verse. I can't wait to start reading this series. This is going to be my first Sarah J. Moss book, y'all. No, I have not read the Throne of Glass series. So, don't kick me for it or whatever. I do want to read the Throne of Glass series. Have I started? No. But that is one of my, like, bookish things i want to do this year before the year is over i want to at least read the first book which is strong and glass i want to read that at least before the year is over because i do want to start that series because i've heard it's amazing just like i've heard this series is really good i can't wait to get to this series so i hope it's i hope i enjoy how everybody else is saying because a lot of times like i said many times before a lot of hyped up books once i actually get to read it i feel like it's been hyped up so much i hold them at like a higher expectation than i would if it wasn't hyped up and then i would quick, quickly get disappointed that it's like i look for things that I've been able to start, you know, looking at people reviews before I start reading the book, you know, and it not making me feel some type of way because I didn't used to be able to read a review of a book before I read it. So I'm getting there, y'all. I'm making, I'm moving to new heights, y'all. Like I'm, I'm doing so much better. And the last two books that I'm going to talk about in this haul are also two books that I got together, but I think I got these in April. Really, I don't think I even got them in May. I think I got them in April. My it may have been in March when I bought these too. I bought I bought these before I bought all of the books I've talked about at all so far. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is Eleven Twenty Two Sixty Three by Stephen King and in the arms of I didn't know this book was going to be this big <laughs> when I bought it. I did not know this book was going to be this huge before I bought it. Like, I've heard, I've heard people talk about it. I found out about this book through BookTube. And I think the person I heard 
about this book from was Sasha from a book utopia. I think that's who I heard about this from first. And I heard this like two years ago about this book. But it's so damn I wanted I had my heart set on the hardback version of it because I I'm usually if I can get the hardcover, I would get the hardcover. Because they last longer and it's like paperbacks, you know, they get messed up so fast. But the hardcover for this goddamn book is still $20. And y'all know I'm not spending $20 on one book. I don't care if Jesus wrote it. I love you, Lord, but I'm not paying $20 for that book. So I just sucked it up. And I got this in paperback form. And I got it from the, from the, um, the book depository. This is my first time buying from the book depository. These two books. And my transaction went pretty smoothly after I had to call my damn bank. Because, you know, the book depository repository sitting in the UK and my car is like on it wouldn't take it so I had to actually call my bank and let them know it was okay that it was me making the purchase but after that it was every, it was cool everything went fine and I got two free bookmarks so it was great um so yeah I can't wait to read this this is a time traveling book y'all know I haven't been having too much luck with time traveling books last year like at the end of last year I was not having too good of luck at all so I hope this one does justice because I love Stephen King. So hopefully this does really. I hope he did this book justice. I hope this is great. Um, the last book that I bought. Oh, that's my receipt from Book Depository. <laughs> the last book that I bought from Book Depository is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. And this is the second book in the Harry Potter series, which I am continuing. Um... For all of you that didn't know, I have not read the Harry Potter series yet. Don't, don't kill me. I read the first book and I loved it. I'm reading the second book. Hope that I love it. I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to because y'all know I fly for these books. Plus, I kind of, and it's not like I didn't know anything about Harry Potter. I watched the movies. I watched the first two movies, so I kind of know what's going to happen in this one. And then I watched the ending of the last movie, which kills me because now I know how the series is going to end. But, you know, I'm not a, a, whole, a total newbie to the Harry Potter thing. But I can't wait to read it. And this, I love these covers better than the American covers. And um, I'm kind of mad because I'm thinking maybe I should have freaking <laughs> got the first book for this because I want them all to be uniform. But if I do decide to go back and get um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, like in this cover, I'm going to give the one that I have on my shelf, I'm probably going to give that to my library or the Goodwill. But... Yeah, and I also, I also saw Book Depository, they're starting on um, these new um, covers for the Harry Potter books, like depending on the house you're in. I was like, what? Let me get a Ravenclaw cover. I thought that was cute. I think they're going to be releasing them like how they're doing the graphic novels, like one book every year. Which, I mean, I don't think that's a bad idea from a business standpoint because you're going to make mad money. But I just think that would be a really cute thing to have. But if there is something that they're, that they're going to do like with the whole series... I want to know because I don't want to have two copies of the exact same book sitting on my shelf before I continue and buy this series. Because I'll wait until, you know, the book come out or whatever because I'm not really, like, dying to read the series. It's just something that I really want to check off on my list that I read the Harry Potter series. So, boom. And boom goes the dynamite. Okay, y'all. Now that the book portion of this haul is over, now I'm going to get into, I guess it's this jewelry and accessories because... I went to Claire's at some point last month, and I freaking love Claire's. Like, I would get all my earrings, all my jewelry from Claire's. I love Claire's. Their, their jewelry is just so freaking beautiful. Okay, she's not crying. I told you, y'all, she's a rough, she's a very rough, rough Claire. I went to Claire's, and Claire's had a sale going on, has been had the sale going on. Um, that is buy three, get three free. So, I went for the sale. Um... The first thing, yes, I kept everything in the bag because I thought I was going to be filming this video a lot sooner than I did. And I, I kept everything in the bag. So whatever. Don't, don't talk about me. Um, I got this notebook. It's a Paris notebook and it's really cute. The back, I don't know if y'all can maybe see it on the camera. It's kind of like sparkly on the back. But it's not that glitter that rubs off on your hands. It's like the book is, like the back of it itself is like made like that. So nothing is coming off. It's going to stay like that. Okay, um, the pages are pretty much plain, it's like, it's like, I would say it's wide rule, so I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use this for a journal, and it has a little stamp on the bottom, I don't know if I'm just going to use it as a journal, or if I'm going to like use it to write my poetry in, um, I don't think they have enough lines for my poetry, 
But I don't know. I'll see. I'll figure it out. Because I have like a lot of books and notebooks that I have sitting on myself that are empty that I haven't used. And I keep buying more. Um, I got this little cute pair of turtle earrings. But these aren't for me. These are for Kalea. And it's kind of, it's not, it is not technically described as birthstones. But these look like her birthstones. <laughs> because Kalea's one of these cinnamon. She has three damn birthstones that it could be. It could be turquoise. Um, not Zanzanite. I don't know. It might be. But they're all blue. But they look like this. Okay. One of them is like a real dark blue. One of them is like a real light blue. And then turquoise, you know, they have a lot of things that's turquoise. But they was too big for her. Uh, for her. But I bought these for her. And I have some turtle earrings there right now too. But mine's just plain. You know, they're cute. Whatever. But I said, that is so cute, girl. We can match our earrings. I just thought this was the cutest little earrings. Um, then I bought these. These are also for Kalea. I got some pearls. Because all girls need at least one pair of pearl earrings is what I think. And they're just really cute. And it's like three different sizes. So I have my own pearl earrings. So I won't be wearing the bigger size. But, you know, I just think this is something that's really cute for her to, to wear as she gets older. You know, she could wear the bigger size as, as it, you know, fits her ear or whatever. But these are really, really cute. There's just something basic that I wanted to get her. I already had them in my mind that I wanted to get some pearl earrings. These, however, are for me. I really love these. I love, I don't know what it is about me and dream catchers. I really love how dream catchers look. I want to learn how to make them. If I can make them myself, then I can make some pretty dream catchers because I love color. Um... These are my, these are pretty, I would guess, these are kind of like turquoise in the middle of them. I guess, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, these are also for me. Hold up, trying to be professional, y'all. If I can get them to turn the right way. <laughs> okay, it's not happening. Um, These are pretty much some flowers and stars, and I really like those. It's beautiful. I really love dangling earrings. I don't know what's with me in those. Um... So yeah, I really like these. I, I don't have any like this. And I don't know, I like white and gold together. This is a very beautiful color together. And so I really do like that and enjoy that. I'm be feeling myself in a way those too. And these are for Kalea. I bought these for her. It's another... Hold up, I'm having problems. It's another three pack earrings. And they're really cute. Uh, she's probably not going to be able to wear these two for a few more months. But these she'll be able to wear like now nah, they're small enough. These might take up her whole ear. Like with these she might be able to get away with but they might take up her, old ear, her whole ear. But the flowers I think are going to be too heavy for her. But for sure she's going to be able to wear these. For these two she's probably going to have to wait a few months. But I mean they're not going to walk away anywhere. So it's good that I have them. So that when she can wear them she can wear them. So I really, I really saw the bow is really what stuck out to me because the bow earrings are so freaking cute, y'all. They really stuck out to me. So love them. And the last two, four things that I bought all came from the same store. Some things I had better shopping experiences with in the store than others, and I'll do that one last. Um, I bought this from the store in the mall it's called Three Six Five. It's a clothing store, and it's. They have some really, really, like, cute stuff in there. Like, very cute. But I won't be shopping in there again. And I'll tell you that when I get to the last thing. Um, this is a crop top. One of the first things I bought. And it's an all-white crop top. And I bought this with the intentions of wearing this with, like, my... I have, like, a pink, like, a pink skirt. And the white shirt I bought for it a while ago does not fit anymore. Because this <laughs> so i was like oh this will be really cute a crop top yes i wear crop tops if y'all did not know but i got this one plain white i could wear this with anything really to make an outfit so that's why i got this one and then i got the exact same crop top but just in a different color because i like this color <laughs> yes i'm one of those people that i can't decide a color so i will get both and it was they was cheap that thing did was like three dollars so i just got it it, it's a that's the thing it's, i have a lot of cute stuff in the store and it's a very cheap price and like it's a it's a good price store so you're not spending 20 dollars on a shirt or 40 dollars on a dress it's like reasonably priced to where you could like shop and feel comfortable and i feel like you like breaking your bank and spending your bill money you know i got this because i like i like this color i don't have any shirts this color and this color i think will look good on my skin i hope because i think that i think it would the next item that I bought is 
the most beloved thing I bought from this store. And I love this so much. I can't wait to wear it. It fits so perfectly. And that is this beautiful dress that I bought. Yes, y'all. I wear stuff like this. I do. I know you probably can't tell looking in the videos that I wear stuff like this, but I do. And this is like one of those date night outfits. Like one of those date nights where you have a babysitter and I can like go out and feel like I'm on my grown woman stuff and I'm like dressing like a kid. I'm just like a, like a, I can dress like a woman. Y'all. I tried this on when I got home and I didn't want to take it off. I love this so much. I can't wait to wear this dress. It's so cute. What I like about the most is the back though. That's the back. So, I'm going to have my back going to be all out and stuff. You know, it's tied up at the back. It fits so perfectly, y'all. Like, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to wear this, Jesse. You know I'm going to take a picture of it and be on Instagram. I might come on here and put it on the video, depending on how good I feel about myself. I love this dress so much. So, the last thing that I purchased from the store... And it's the reason why I won't be going back to this store because I really got like just my temper like really flared up dealing with this dress. Now nothing is wrong with the dress, you know, nothing's coming off of it, nothing's ripped up, nothing's, you know, messed up on the dress. It's a very beautiful dress. And I plan on wearing this for Kalea's christening. And I didn't because it didn't fit. Um, it's one of those things I probably should try it on the store. It's a very pretty dress, y'all. Like, I love this dress so much. It's very beautiful. I love everything about it. The back is just, you know, it's normal. Normal back. This part is like cut or cut out. So, you know, you'll be able to see your skin through this part. Very pretty. But up here was way too tight. I should have tried it on before I left. I wouldn't have had the issues that I had. But I was like, well... I never feel like trying on things in the store anymore. I just get ready to look. After I find what I want, I'm okay. It's time to go. And I try it on at home. And if it don't fit, you know, I'll come back and exchange it for a different size, right? That was my intention. This is, like, really tight up here. Like, I'm, like, heavy up top. I wear a size D. I'm a D cup. So, a lot of times I have to get a large in dresses because it is. But looking at this, I was like, oh, well, this is, like, a pretty good fit medium. It's, like, a big medium. I don't need a large. I was wrong. So I went back to exchange and, you know, I wasn't upset that day. I was like, I'll just go back and switch y'all. I have my receipt. Because on the bottom of the receipt, they say they don't they do not do refunds, but you can exchange it for something of equal or lesser value in the store. So, you know, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't tripping about it. I'll go back and exchange it for a bigger size, you know, whatever. Because I, it's not, I go in the mall a lot anyway because my mom works in the mall. So I'm going to that mall a lot anyway.
want we won't be shopping in here anymore and like <laughs> i was like you know what let's go because my fiance was in the store with me too <laughs> i'm like let's go we're not coming back in the store no more we're not buying nothing out of the store no more because that's rude and my mom was about to buy something behind me she's like well i'm not gonna take these since <laughs> they're final on sale i just know my mom wouldn't have been in the store with me i'd probably been a whole lot worse but i have respect for my mother so i was just like i'm <sighs> Like, I really had to take a deep break because he was just rude. I'm like, you don't be, you're not, you don't supposed to be rude like that. So now I have a dress that I can't wear because I can't fit it. And they're not taking it back. So, and there's no 1-800 number on the receipt whatsoever. So, there's no way for me to do anything about it. So I'm stuck with a dress that I can't wear. I'm going to have to find somebody that can fit it because I'm not going to throw away a dress that I paid money for. So I'm going to have to find somebody that can fit it. But I don't know who can fit it because all of my friends have the same issue I have with these. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to find somebody that can wear it. I said I was just going to call Amazon and sell it and make my money back. But I was like, I'll just be nice and just bless somebody with a dress. Because it gave me so much of a headache, I just want to get rid of it. Like, it's been sitting in a bag, sitting in my living room on the floor since I bought it. And they told me I can't, I can't return it. But, um, this is probably a long video because I didn't talk a lot. That's all for my haul video, y'all. Um, thank y'all for sticking in there and looking at this video with me. Oh, I had to check that she got quiet up, but she was asleep. Um, but that's everything that I bought these last few months. And I hope y'all enjoyed my haul video because this is my first time doing like a full haul. Like, not just books with other things that's not book related. So, I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. Because I don't really like bin shop and like buy like a bunch of shit every month to like do a whole haul video on which is why I don't do them and I haven't really done book, book haul videos like I used to do like when I first started I used to do a book haul video every month I don't I, I, I can't buy books like that and like multitudes like that to do haul videos like I used to so it's more of a collective haul thing but I wouldn't mind coming and do a collective haul like every now and then I wouldn't mind doing that so just let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys want to see and I would do them for y'all it's been a, I'm so sorry it's been a while since I've like sit in front of this camera and did a video. But then the last video I uploaded, it was a pre-recorded video and even that had been pre-recorded a while ago. And I started having difficulties with my computer in editing. So I hadn't uploaded it and I just uploaded it. That one's probably been a week, a week and a half since I uploaded that video. So I'm about to do this video and I'm going to edit it and I'm going to upload it tonight. <laughs> Or tomorrow, tonight probably, because I don't have nothing else better to do with my life tonight anyway. So that's probably going to get done tonight so y'all can have a video. And um, that's all I have for y'all. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> no, I have not read. No, I have not read The Throne of Grass. <laughs> I also, also saw Book Deports. Fuck it up. Ah, 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 Ah, let's go. Ah.